two times two equals boo. A set of spooky multiplication stories. Written and illustrated by Laureen Leedy. Chapter Zero, The Disappearing Zero. I'll only be in the store for a few minutes. Okay, Griselda. Wait here, Inkling. I have some shopping to do. See you later, Jinx. Hi, my boss is buying frog toes. How quaint. She happens to be a very talented witch. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, just the other day, a nasty vampire attacked us, so Griselda multiplied him by zero. One times zero equals zero. And made the vampire vanish. Hmm, <laughs> I know. One vampire times zero equals zero vampire. Well, Jinx can multiply too. Two huge bats grabbed me last week, so she cried, Two times zero equals zero. Get it? Two bats times zero equals zero bats. Big deal. Three angry snakes were chasing us, so Griselda yelled, Three times zero equals zero! See, three snakes times zero snakes equals zero snakes. Hmm, yeah. So what? Four enormous spiders jumped us. So Jinx shouted, Four times zero equals zero! Four spiders times zero equals zero spiders. Well, whoop de do. Five ghosts surrounded us, and Griselda just screamed. Five times zero equals zero. Five ghosts times zero equals zero ghost. Griselda is the best witch in town! Jinx says ten times better! Oh yeah? Well, this is for you! One times zero equals zero! Well, this is for you! One times zero equals zero! Here, kitty kitty! Inkling, where are you? Chapter 1. One more time. Uh, hi, Dr. Albert. Trick or treat. Hello, Nelson. You must come see my latest invention. Um, okay, but I want to get more candy. I'll show you how to increase the amount that you already have. This is my new multiplication machine. We'll put your one bag of candy inside and push some numbers. Beep, boop, beep, boop. One times one equals one. Two times one equals two. Three times one equals three. Four times one equals four. Five times one equals five. Wow, so I can start with one bag of candy? Then multiply it by the number of bags I want? <laughs> Let's try a big number, like 99! <laughs> Wait, the machine is rumbling, it is, it's going to... BOOM! Wow, thank you, Dr. Albert! <laughs> You're welcome, Nelson. Chapter 2 Seeing double. 
I can't believe that Mom expects me to clean this entire attic. Just look at this old junk. Whose glasses are these? Dr. Spook's Double Vision Spectacles. Directions. Put on glasses and stare at something. Multiply by two. The item will double. Hmm, okay. I'll try it on that goofy moose head. One times two equals two. Wow. Two moose heads. Let's double these two wrinkly boots. Two times two equals four. Four boots. Amazing. How about these three old hats? Three times two equals six. <laughs> six hats. Next, these four raggedy brooms. Four times two equals eight. Eight brooms. Now, these five dusty books. Five times two equals ten. That's ten books. What can I double next? Hmm. Zelda! Have you finished cleaning up there yet? Not quite, Mom. Oh, no. It's going to take twice as long with all this extra stuff. Hey, I have a great idea. I'll use this mirror to double myself. One times two equals two. Zelda, what's taking you so long? Eek! Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Chapter 3. Triple Scare Look at those crows eating our corn. We need a scarecrow. The garden is so large, we'd better make three scarecrows. Pumpkins make good heads. Mm, one pumpkin times three equals three pumpkins. Each head's gonna need two eyes. Two eyes times three equals six eyes. Each mouse gonna need three teeth. Three teeth times three equals nine teeth. Each body will need two arms, two legs, which makes four limbs. Four limbs times three equals twelve limbs. Give each scarecrow five strings for hair. Five strings times three equals fifteen strings for hair. Did he say scarecrow? I'm uh, better than the others. Let's get him! Let's go outside and scare those crows. Shh. Kaka, 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 kaka. Hey, help! A giant crow! Well done, Riley. Chapter 4. Foresight. Hey, you're taking too many cookies. That's because I'm so much bigger. How wide are your wings? Uh, about one foot. See? My wings are four feet wide. I'm four times bigger than you. So I should get four times as much. Mm, so I get one cookie, and you get four cookies? Hmm, you've got it! Then if I get two rotten apples, you get eight. Hmm, well, yours. And if I get... Three slimy worms, you get twelve! No. And when I get four stinky fish, you get sixteen! Sure. And when I get five warty toads, you get 
20. Forget it. I'm leaving. Looks like I get to eat these cookies all by myself. Hey, what about us? Chapter 5. Boo Stew. Oh, Mr. Bones, we must get the stew ready for my dinner party tonight. Yes, Miss Tibia. This recipe is only for one serving, but there will be five of us. Don't worry. I can multiply each ingredient by five. Splendid. First, it calls for one bouncy eyeball. <laughs> That'll be five bouncy eyeballs. Fine. Next, it says two knobby knuckles. Ten knuckles coming up. Three pointy ears. That's fifteen ears. Four smelly toes. Twenty toes, I think you mean. Last but not least, Five scaly tails. Twenty-five tails with scales. Now it has to simmer a while. Later. Hmm, the stew smells wonderful. Let me take a peek. <laughs> it's perfect, Mr. Bones. You're a genius. Why, thank you, Mrs. Tibia. The end.